1 Corinthians chapter 6, now we're really going to blow your mind, but in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, you know, Paul's making an argument not to go into a harlot. Don't you know that he who goes into a harlot becomes one with her? And then he gives the reason. He says, don't you know you're one with God in spirit? You're one with Christ in spirit. And, and that's his reasoning, is you don't, you don't just be loose with sex and being joined to another person because it's a picture of Christ literally in us. And this is interesting, but if you study the Bible, you, you understand, you study that um, Adam knew Eve or, or Adam went into Eve, those ideas of knowing and into are used about God's relationship with us. He knows us intimately and he's in us. And that is to glorify, the sexual relationship is there to glorify the uniqueness of God actually entering into us and having an accord with us through his Holy Spirit. Just as Jesus in John 17 has an accord with the Father, he says, just as we are one, make them one with us. You know, so it's like God, Jesus has an accord with the Father and we have an accord with the Son. We have a unity just uh, with Jesus as Jesus has a unity with his Father. And so it, when, you, when you think of that, you think, wow, you know, Jesus is in us and the physicality of sex is to point to the spiritual unity of, of Christ in us. I can't see Christ in me. I don't know what that looks like. And what God does is he gives us a physical action to help us understand a spiritual truth. And it's not just with sex, that how that glorifies God, but there's other things that he gives us physically that are there to help us understand a spiritual truth. You know, communion, baptism, those are all there to point us to a spiritual truth. Um, that we can't see, but we, we believe it, you know, and that's what sex is. And so when you have sex, just think what happens when you start thinking of sex in that way. Mm. Yeah, it elevates it, it glorifies it, it's no longer common. Now when I uh, see something like pornography and I see the pollution of what God intended, it should start to, to kind of hit my heart in a different way, as opposed to just being like, well, what's wrong with it? You know, what's wrong with me self-gratifying, uh, going home and masturbating? You know, wh why is that wrong? But now I understand, how does masturbating honor God? You know, God, I mean, we don't believe in a Unitarian God who just is pleased in himself. We believe in a Trinitarian God who is pleased in himself, but he's pleased in the other persons of his Akkad unity, uh, which is beautiful. So I am not to go home and just self-gratify. I am to go home and share the unity with my wife. 